Hey everyone, WatchBD here, bringing you the third episode of the other games we play. Well by now, most of you are probably wondering what the game is you're seeing. Well in order for me to tell you this, I need to tell you a little story first. When I was younger, my primary console was the Game Boy. Game Boys, to be specific. See, my, fa my father is a commercial airplane mechanic, and back then when he primarily worked on interior pl interiors of the planes, he would often find Game Boys and cartridges left in pockets and under chairs. One of the cartridges he found were one of those 101 games in one cartridges. Most of the game beyond number 33 were just repeats with cheats added or progressed to further levels, but it didn't bother me much as a kid. One of my favorite games on that particular cartridge was a Japanese game titled in the main menu as Bokenjima. I never really knew what that meant, I always assumed it was Japanese because the title screen of the game was in Japanese, but I didn't really care much as a kid because the game was pretty fun. So a couple days ago, while looking for games to play for Togwhoop, I found this cartridge in my Game Boy Advance, this particular cartridge, and decided that I should research a bit more concerning this particular game for the series. So quite a, quite a bit ago, back when Sega still made still developed hardware such as the Dreamcast, the Saturn, the what the hell was the console that they were popular for? The Genesis. Why the hell? How did I forget that? Well, yeah, the Genesis. They exclusively published a series of games by a company called Weststone Bit Entertainment, known as Wonder Boy, uh, which was a side-scrolling platformer game. Well, it started out as a simple action side-scroller platformer, but it slowly evolved into an action RPG franchise, which they called Monster World, I believe. So, it took a turn though when Weststone Bit, who owned every part of the Wonder Boy franchise except for the name Wonder Boy and the characters, looked outwards to companies like Hudson Soft, which were known for the Bomberman series and the Mario Party series, to publish Wonder Boy to publish the Wonder Boy series for other consoles. Since Weststone didn't own the name Wonder Boy, they had to change it for the ports. Can you guess what they changed it to? Well, if you guessed Bokenjima, or its English translation, Adventure Island, you guessed right. So that means the game I'm playing right now is Adventure Island, right? Well, yes and no. See, Adventure Island was originally just ported to the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. When Adventure Island 2, not a port of a Wonder Boy game, but an original creation, was released for the NES, they decided to port it to Nintendo's portable console, the Game Boy. But of course, since the original Adventure Island was never ported to the Game Boy, how could they leave a 2 in the title? That wouldn't make any sense. You'd have a sequel to a game that doesn't exist. So instead, they dropped the 2, and Adventure Island 2 for the NES became Adventure Island for the Game Boy, and likewise for the later sequels. Adventure Island 3 for the NES became Adventure Island 2 for the Game Boy. Well, this is the item select screen. It lets me select items that I've stored out throughout the game. Here are two of my dinosaur friends. I have two of these guys, but only one of these guys. And one of my throwing hammers. I'll take the throwing hammer for now. And let's play. So, standard platformer fare. You press one button to jump, press one button to shoot if you have a throwing hammer. And you move around with left, right, and stuff. Here's an egg. Walking onto it breaks it open and it said that it was a skateboard. Skateboard forces me to move forward but allows me to move forward a bit faster and it gives me one extra health point for dying. See? Um, the way that the way that health works in this game is that each of the items you have adds another layer of health. So then that time I had uh, I had the skateboard and I had my throwing hammer. If I were to get hit right now I'd lose my throwing hammer or at least I, I believe I would. And, but I still wouldn't die and then if I were to hit, get hit one more time that would cause me to die. Oh never mind. Throwing hammer does not add an extra layer of health. Oh no, that means I have no more throwing hammer and only one life left. Stupid fishy. Let's go. Fruit gives me points and it adds time to the time bar. Those lines at the bottom. Vertical lines. Don't step on those, they make you trip. And they can make you lose power-ups. Let's kill that. Let's kill the bird. Let's kill the other dude. Yes, before the fishy came. Snail. Snail. Jump, kill the bee thing. I don't know, is it a bee? Some sort of insect. Jump over the rock. Kill the frog. Kill this guy. Ooh, next level. It looks like I'm going in a cave this time. And at the end of every single level, they let you have a whole bunch of eggs spin in a circle. You select one by jumping onto it, and it gives you a random item. 
Most of the time they just give you points, but sometimes they can give you l extra lives. I'll pick that one. Yay, a thousand points. Stand. These flowers give you points, but watch out if you ever see the fl those flowers sitting out all by themselves. I was always scared of those things. Oh, rock coming. Jump. Fire. Fire's bad. I can shoot these things now that I have my animal friend. Fire bad. Go down the hill, get the grapes. Oh, ooh, secret egg. Every once in a while, if you walk in a spot, ooh, welcome to my secret room. I'll give you this item. Thank you, Dragon Man. Yay, three lives. Awesome. Every once in a while, you can find secret eggs hidden. Oh, that frog is a darker color, which means that it has two lives, as opposed to that frog just has one lives, one life. And usually those thick trees mean that that meat and item appears. And sometimes birds drop eggs too. Hey, I get my other animal friend. So the animal friend that I had first gets go gets stuck in my inventory, gets stored in my inventory, and I switch to this animal friend, which I believe is a bit stronger. And it shoots out of his mouth instead of shooting out of his tail. Yay! He makes a funny sound effect. Into the cave. Seems to be like Mario, where there's always a overground, overworld level followed by underground level. You know, dun -dun 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 -dun. choose an egg. Which one should I choose? I'll choose the fourth one. Fourth. 1,000 points. Yay! I was like jumping up just before the screen freezes. My animal friend looks so happy. Oh, I guess not a cave, just in a forest. Okay. Kill the snail. Get a skateboard. Okay, let's get the skateboard. Oh crap, those flowers scared the hell out of me because they mean one of those things is coming. Hey, Game Boy. I've never seen one of those before. Well, I don't remember seeing one of those. But yeah, if you ever see one of those point flowers just sitting out in the open, not instead of being cracked out of an egg, that means one of those llama things are coming. Those always scared the hell out of me as a kid. Ow, I fell for that. Both literally and figuratively. Die, bird. Do you have a secret egg? Yes, he's a secret egg. Animal friend, Lapras. I don't know, there's probably some dinosaur name for this. If you know a thing about dinosaurs, please tell me the actual name for this type of dinosaur. But until then, it's Lapras. Oh, now I'm going in a cave. Let's go in the cave. Get the fifth egg. Fifth. Fifth. Oh, just 100 points. Yay, mid-air shot. Doesn't my dinosaur thing look happy? Okay, you can stay here. Oh, by the way, since I'm playing the Game Boy version, Game Boy games did not have color. So, if you're wondering a bit why the color looks a bit off, that's because I used the emulator, uh, Visual Boy Advance, in order to add in colors of my of my own choosing. And because of the limited, limited palette of a Game Boy, I can only choose eight colors to use. So I had to choose wisely, so some things look a bit off. My character looks okay for the most part, and when I'm outside, the background looks okay, but sometimes the monsters and the power-ups look a bit off. That's why. If you were to play the NES version, the Nintendo Entertainment System version, though, it'd have nice color. And here we go. Every island has its vertical level. And the hard part about the vertical level is that your guy doesn't suffer fall damage or anything. Ooh, another Lapras. Your guy doesn't suffer fall damage, so I can like fall all the way to the bottom and that'd be okay. But the problem is, is that you have a time meter for each level. So if you fall all the way to the bottom, you might not make it up back in you might not make it up in time. Oh Lapras died. So if you run out of time you die, you lose life. Which is bad. Dun 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 Kill egg. Three egg. Just two hundred. Jump. Oh, Ooh, I'm underwater. I should probably take this dude. But yeah, the the, the intro theme for Mega Man 2. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's the theme I always think of when I think 8-bit music. I probably should play Mega Man 2. I probably suck at it. Yeah, I have my Lapras. Now I can swim underwater. I think if you don't have the Lapras dude, you have to go up for air every once in a while. Or not? I have no idea. What's that thing? Whatever it is, it's dead. Maybe you don't have to go for water. Oh well. It's not that hard. It's not like a Super Mario swimming level. Those things are terrible. 
or not terrible, but hard. Like world negative one, just infinity swimming level. Oh, hey, 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 oh, don't want to get hit by those things. Ooh, is this the boss? It might be a boss. Do 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 do. Ah, boss level time, underwater boss. Don't hit the bottom. Oh, crap, boss. How do I kill you? Oh, oh no, that that's not fair. Okay, we are now back at the boss level. Let's try not dying on the first hit this time. Okay, so I guess we just gotta dodge his bullet and then shoot him while he's awake. Or not hiding. So, there we go. Bullet. Shoot. Oh, he turned white. That means he's almost dying. Shoot. Oh. What? Two bullets now. Hammer's not doing as much. Or I gotta get closer. Oh my god. He's, his sleep... His uh, open period is... Oh no, I died. Oh no, damn it. Arg. Ah. Ah. No. Ah. Ah. No. Uh, uh. Come on, come on, come on, do 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 Okay, come on, he's almost dead, he's almost dead, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Just gotta keep telling myself that. He's dead! Yeah! 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 Woo! -hoo! My six-year-old self would kick my 17-year-old self's ass for having taken that long. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, that is Adventure Island, everybody, or Adventure Island 2 if you're playing on the NES, or Bokenjima if you are Japanese. I hope you enjoyed this game, and... A link to the emulator I used to play this game, because no, I don't have a crazy, I don't have a crazy Game Boy capture card or something like that. That'd be insane. A link, I'm using an emulator, Visual Boy Advance. I'll link it to the emulator in the description. I, I will not link to the ROM of the actual game. That's for, you know, for all intents and purposes and stuff. This is educational and all that junk. So yeah, I'm not going to link to the ROM. You have you have friends on the internet that can help you find stuff like that if you want to play this game. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this style of Togwip, please put so in the comments and like and rate the video and such. And until next week, see you around everybody. Y2BD signing out. Aww.